Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie from My Porch Prints and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for how to make a Valentine mini book tassel for a junk journal spine. And when we're finished, it's going to look kind of something like this. Uh, not exactly like this, but pretty close. And what we're going to do is we're going to be hooking it onto the spine of our junk journal as a kind of decoration or bookmark, whatever you want to use it for. And of course you don't have to use it for a journal, you can use it to decorate anything you like. Um, the materials I'm going to be using are some ribbons and lace, and then also these lobster key rings with this lobster hook, and also uh, a few various charms. I chose some that kind of go with the Valentine theme. Uh, and I've got those from a larger collection of charms and I'll just put all the links for these things down below so that you can find them for yourself. And then last but not least, I'll be using these mini Valentine books uh, and I'll show you where to get those and how to make them in the links as well. Uh, but they're already assembled for this project and what we're going to do is um, to start you'll want to gather a bunch of different kinds of lace and ribbon, just anything for your tassel. You can also use scraps of fabric. Um, I've got this little scrap of cheesecloth here and then also a scrap of sari silk ribbon and just anything that kind of goes with your theme or color scheme. And uh, you'll need to cut them to uh, a length that's double the size of what you want your tassel to be because we're going to be folding them in half and making our tassel. So this is about how big the tassel will be when we're done. And um, so to start with, cut your, your pieces of ribbon to, to the size that you want. And then what we're going to do is gather them in the middle or roughly the middle like this. And it doesn't matter that the ends aren't perfectly straight, you know, it's okay to have some be longer than others. But what we're going to want to do is secure the tassel in the middle, and I'm going to do that with one of my pieces of ribbon. So, gather your ribbons together, and we'll tie them like so. This one's giving me a little trouble. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just double tie mine. So we got a good knot there, and I'm going to let the ends of the ribbon hang down with the rest. So now I've got uh, all the ribbons gathered together and tied in the middle, and what I'm going to do is kind of hold them right here and pull the rest down to form the head of our tassel. So all these loose ends will be down here and our tassel head will be up here. And to secure this part, I'm going to use... Uh, Sorry, I want to arrange them a little bit so that they're kind of hanging where I want them to. I'm going to use a piece of twine because we're going to be attaching um, charms to this and I want something really thin, kind of thread-like that I could poke through the, the holes of my charms. So, and I also kind of like just that it has a kind of uh, added texture for the tassel, something kind of rough and vintage-y to go with the rest of it to kind of offset the frilly softness of the lace. So. We're going to tie this roughly where you want your head to be, about an inch or inch and a half down from the top of your tassel. And just like that, we're going to secure it and I'm going to double tie mine. And you'll want this to be a fairly long piece of twine because we're going to actually use it for more than just attaching the charms, we're also going to use it to attach our Valentine book. So once you have it kind of where you want it and things are looking the way you want them to, if there's any um, strings poking up here, you can kind of reach through and pull them down and, and tie them a little tighter. Like this one was poking up, so I pulled it down. But um, there we go. It's starting to look more like it's supposed to. Once you have it tied with your twine, you can add your charms. And like I said, I chose some that have kind of a Valentine theme. They kind of go with our style here. And what we're gonna do is just thread them onto the tassel. And you can thread them all together or tie them separately. It's really up to you how close you want them to be to each other. I'm trying to decide if I want to tie them separately or just thread them all on. We'll start by threading them and and see if I like them all together. So 
so yeah I think that'll be cute and I'm gonna go ahead and at, once you've threaded the charms on to the tassel you can get a little light in here tie them securely like so and I'm gonna go ahead and do another double knot because I like to make sure things are good and tight it won't fall off later eh, my string is really long there we go and so now you can see that we've secured our little charms onto our tassel and the next thing I want to do is attach our book and I've got a few different designs of these available uh, but I went ahead these are empty <laughs> I haven't finished them yet this one's got pages in it so I'm going to use this one and what do you want to do to attach the book to your tassel is go ahead and uh, open your book and use the tassel or the um, twine as a kind of like bookmark put it inside and then judge the length down that you want your book to hang I'm gonna have it hang a little way from the charms so that it doesn't cover them up so I'm gonna pull it down to about this far and then you're going to loop this string around one more time through your book there we go so it's kind of double looped now and you can see it's been put through twice and then I'm going to secure it to itself by looping it through uh, itself here and making a kind of knot right and then I'm gonna do that twice because like I said I always double knot my knots to make sure that they'll stay and you could also add some beads here or whatever you want uh, whatever kind of charms you have at your home or what things that you like the best and there we go and now we have this cute little uh, book charm in addition to these other smaller ones and it just makes for a really cute Valentine's Eve tassel and I'm going to go ahead and take this key ring and loop it through uh, the top of our tassel the pink ribbon that we secured it with and you just kind of slide it onto there hopefully there we go oops not quite getting on is it there we go and once you have it on there you can just slide it around and there you go you've got a cute little tassel and chain to attach it with and I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my journal spine um, I have this kind of uh, string binding that I use to bind my journal and so I'm gonna hook it onto here but they also make like Tim Holtz and some other companies make um, these cute little rings and I'll I'll try to find a link for those to add to that you can attach to your spine and then it leaves you a little kind of like a, a drawer pull like a little drawer ring that you could attach this to as well so if you don't have a string spine you can still attach your tassel so what I do is just loop it through Oops. one of these strings and there we go and it's super cute it adds uh, just another awesome uh, just kind of a layer to your your journal project to give you just something a little more cute and, and dress up your journal a little bit and then um, if you wanted also the ribbons might be able to be used as kind of a bookmark of sorts so there is the Valentine tassel a quick easy project and really pretty and fun and versatile a lot of uses for tassels in art projects so um, thank you for joining me and uh, I'll go ahead and leave those links below to all the materials that I've been using and that's it. Have a great day!